your way to the Simple Gift Show, and we are so thrilled that you have. We air on the UAN TV network every other Saturday night at 8 p.m., and it would just be an honor if you would continue to join us right here. We are made up of the four Sawyers, David and David, both the boys. I'm Kathy, and uh, we've got Leah here with us, and we are so excited this particular week. There's all kinds of stuff going on for Leah this week. She is doing her senior recital. She is graduating from high school, and she has her 18th birthday all this week. So, <laughs> Leah, I hope you don't mind. We're going to talk a lot about you this evening. Um, before we go any farther, I do want to say thank you to our sponsor of this particular episode, W. Harris and Graver and Company. So thankful uh, for what you do and for your support here. Uh, so because this is such a big week for Leah, you are going to see a lot of her in this episode. And, and th this week, this particular week is so full of fun and excitement. Um, perhaps it is for you too in May, this time of weddings and all kinds of spectacular things. But um, sometimes even in the midst of that, um, Things can feel perhaps a little heavy, perhaps a little hard, and we feel a little bit like a stranger. And I think probably is because we are a stranger in this world. We're not home yet.
wayfaring stranger. Well, that was Leah, our almost 18-year-old, on lead vocals and fiddle. In fact, I don't think we told you, at the top of this show, um, she played a tune called Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry is a typical Texas-style contest tune, and uh, both Leah and David participate in fiddle contests actually across the country. So you got to experience a little bit of that, um, a little bit of Leah singing Wayfaring Stranger and playing that fiddle. Um, I mentioned that we are in the midst of graduation week for Leah, so there's all kinds of things she's had to do to prepare, all kinds of things to think about. Um, and Dad, why don't you tell us, David, why don't you tell us about today's uh, video and where that came from? Sure, yes. Uh, it's 2 Timothy 1, 8 through 9. And uh, it's, the, it's what we did for Movie Monday this week. And uh, Leah, this is actually her senior, the scripture that she chose uh, for her senior year, for her for graduation, I should say. So, yeah, so we made a, I made a movie Monday out of it, and uh, I think we're going to watch it right now. So that was Leah's senior scripture taken from 2 Timothy. Um, David referred to Movie Monday. Movie Monday is scripture to music that you can find every Monday on uh, David's Facebook page, Guy with the Guitar. And he picks a different scripture each week to put a soundtrack behind. And it only seemed appropriate on Leah's graduation week for him to be able to internalize that scripture and let you uh, be able to do that too. So tune in to Movie Monday, Guy with the Guitar, actually both on YouTube and on Facebook. You can find it there. Um, we're going to keep featuring Leah, uh, even on this next song. She's going to sing lead. She's going to play her fiddle a little bit. But there... Um, I want to tell you the background to this story. First of all, a little bit more about us. My dad was in the Army, and because of that and where he was stationed, I got to be born in England. My husband, David, born in Texas. How we ever met, it <laughs> could only be a God thing, but we ended up living in Indianapolis, where Leah was born. And about two years old, Leah informed us that she wanted a brother. My husband came home from work one day and he said, Kathy, I think we have a son and I think he's in Russia. So over we went <laughs> to find our son and sure enough, about a thousand miles northeast of Moscow was this precious boy that the Lord allowed us to bring home with us. Now who but the Lord can do that? Take a girl born in England and marry a guy born in Texas and they have a daughter who's born in Indianapolis and then a son who's born in Russia. Only the Lord can pull that off and it's such a neat story to tell. We love to tell our story. But what's more exciting than where each of the Sawyers were born is where the two Sawyer kids were reborn. And Leah is going to sing about that. One, two, three. I met Jesus. 
Memphis and Texas, west of Abilene. On my knees one night I saw the light in my boots and jeans. Never thought I'd meet a friend like that. In my wildest dreams I met Jesus in Texas, west of Abilene. I don't see how a man who lived 2,000 years ago could find me down in Texas at the Texas, west of Abilene. On my knees when I saw the light in my boots and jeans. Never thought I'd meet a friend like that. In my wildest dreams, I met Jesus in Texas, west of Abilene. song, I Met Jesus in Texas. And uh, it actually could almost totally be Leah's story, except that she met Jesus west of Fort Worth rather than west of Abilene. Um, but Fort Worth doesn't rhyme quite as well. So we're so grateful for Barry for writing that song and for, for letting us do that song. And uh, we're going to keep introducing more pieces of Leah to you. So, Leah, why don't you take over and tell the folks what they're about to see. Okay. Well, one of the really interesting things about being homeschooled is that there normally aren't a whole lot of kids graduating in a homeschool <laughs> graduation. So there's seven of us, um, seven kids at my homeschool co-op, and we're all graduating together. So there's time for all of us to have a slideshow that kind of outlines um, some of the highlights of things that have happened in our lives up to this point. So um, it's just been a really, a really great thing to kind of look back and, and remember at, at things that have happened in my life, getting ready for my graduation and going through pictures for this slideshow. And so we're about to show you a portion of what will be shown at my graduation. And if you're watching this live on Saturday, May 18th, I will have just graduated. Um, the graduation is at, is at two. And so this is, this is part of what we're going to show there. And as you've seen, if you've tuned in before, that this show and my family story is really about using the gifts that God has given us to glorify God and to bless other people with. And so I feel like the things that I've been given to glorify God and, and to create and, and bless other people with are my fiddle playing, my singing, and, and you'll also see that I ride horses. 
And so I'm hoping that in this slideshow, you'll get to see a little bit of that. And my parents have just really instilled that in me. And it's been such a blessing to get to grow up in the family that I have and, and have my parents coach me in how to use my gifts for the glory of God. So we're going to show that to you now. Go ahead and, and roll the slideshow, Matt. Well, there was a glimpse, a little glimpse into Leah's first 18 years. And um, you may be able to glean from that that Leah loves her music, loves playing her fiddle. She loves horses and the Western lifestyle, and she loves the Lord. And um, it's just kind of astounding, I think, that he has been able to bring all those pieces together to to intersect but again isn't that isn't that what he does isn't that how he works um so in the midst of all this um leah's not just playing music and riding horses and getting her schoolwork done she's got another interest too leah yeah. well if you were here last time with us then you got to hear a couple of my dad's original songs and my dad's just been writing songs for his whole life and i've always really looked up to that i've always wanted to be able to write songs like my dad and so i wrote my very first song when i was four and we were in lukenbach texas listening to music and mom and dad bought david a cowboy hat but they didn't buy me one and that that kind of upset four-year-old me. And so on our way home, I decided to write my very first song. It was a blues song. 
and I wrote about how upset I was that my parents didn't get me a cowboy hat. Um, so we're not going to do that one for you, but we're going to do one that I wrote more recently. I'm still writing songs, and I kind of wondered if you put Ella Fitzgerald and the Western way of life together, what you would get, and I came up with this song called Cowboy Swing. A rancher's work will never seem to end Build the hay, then there's a fence to mend It sometimes seems to be all work, no play And though it's worth it, I have to say If you're ever feeling down and blue There's just one thing I recommend to you Swing on, cowboy. Swing on till the cows come home. Don't be so coy. You better rally your spurs and make some noise. Swing on, cowboy. Swing on till the cows come home. Don't be so coy. You better rally your spurs and make some noise. I once met a man who did not know how to swing. Sad, sad thing, but did not know how to swing. Until one day that swinging bug bit him in stride. That sun settled down and he swam throughout the night. So swing on, cowboy. in a few days. Uh, we'll be in Branson on May 25th. We'd love to see you there at Silver Dollar City. The next day we'll be in Joplin at the Joplin Family Worship Center. June 2nd, we're going to be in Marshall, Illinois at Marshall Baptist Church. And June 5th, all the way to Indianapolis at the Idle Jorg Museum, playing on the beautiful canal in Indianapolis. So please come find us face to face. We would love to meet you and talk to you. We want to give a special thank you to our sponsor, W. Harris Engraver and & Company. We couldn't do this without you. We are Simple Gifts, the Sawyer Family Band. You've been listening to my husband David on lead guitar, singing harmony vocals today. You've been listening to my son David on mandolin, tenor guitar. We left his other instruments at home. We'll catch up with those later. And today we've celebrated the music, the horses, the love of the Lord that is our daughter, Leah singing today, playing fiddle for you today. It has been a joy to be with you. Matt and Dustin, we thank you so much for all your help, all you do here in the studio. We can't wait to see everybody right back here. Two weeks, Saturday, 8 p.m. UANetwork.tv. Thanks for watching.